Well, good afternoon once again, and welcome to the Spruce Meadows Media Centre, where we're delighted to uh, join with Equestrian Canada and Chef to Keep Eric Lamaze in naming his selections and those of the Federation to represent Canada at the World Equestrian Games. We're going to be having uh, questions and answers both on-site and via Skype. So without further ado, a man who's very familiar with this facility here, yet it's usually at the middle of the table, uh, but now in his new role, he's going to be moderating and making some very important announcements. Canada Chef to Keep Eric Lamaze. Thanks, uh, whoa. Never been in this position here. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, this started, uh, I think, uh, I don't know how many riders exactly, uh, around 15 riders applied to compete uh, in ending uh, Denmark for the World Championship. And uh, we shortened the list to nine uh, riders not long ago. And uh, we have now made a final five uh, decision based on a um, uh, tour that we had in Europe, in Le Bol, France, uh, in Rome and uh, here in Spruce Meadows, five star, uh, observing. Uh, it was not a, um, a trial, so to speak, calculating on point. It was uh, the committee uh, that uh, observed and uh, we came to the conclusion um, that after uh, these competition, we have put an incredible team together of uh, young ladies and uh, young men uh, that uh, are ready to perform and continue the journey and um, improving until the World Championship. So with, without any further notice, I'm going to name these riders. Um, they all worked extremely hard. Uh, they did us very proud in Europe during those two Nations Cup uh, that we did, uh, being on the podium in the bowl, winning the Grand Prix of the bowl. Uh, so we took things very seriously right from the beginning of the year. So uh, the first rider I'm going to call up here is uh, Beth Underhill. Uh, Beth has been around for a long time in our sport. Um, I rolled with her Nations Cup uh, years ago, and uh, it's nice to see her back on top of the sport. Um, yeah, very good. Um, second person uh, I'd like to call up is uh, Tiffany Foster. Uh, Tiffany's had a great year, great, many great years actually. Um, had the pleasure of sharing a few Olympics with her and Nations Cup and uh, World Championship. She's a good fighter, a good, uh, good person to have as a teammate and uh, we, I cannot be more proud to have her on this team. The next person that I'd like to call forward is uh, Mario Deloye, a veteran of our sport. Mario's has many accomplishments. He's a true horseman. Uh, he's certainly somebody that we can depend on. Uh, he brings a world of knowledge, not only for this world championship, but in overall, as the team continues to grow, I'm very much counting on Mario to, to be a big help to me uh, to continue to grow this team. So uh, thank you, Mario. Um, I would like to call uh, Aaron Ballard next, up to the podium. Erin uh, is a little bit uh, coming from behind. Um, she uh, started out the, uh, the European circuit a little bit uh, the hard way, but sure uh, improved every step of it and arrived here in Spruce Meadows in great form, uh, where she proved to me uh, that her and her horse were, uh, deserved the right to be uh, part of this team uh, with an incredible performance over the last, uh, from the first day, first competition to the Grand Prix yesterday. So well done, Erin, for your hard work. And uh, the final uh, competitor, is there a final one? That's it? Oh, okay. No, the final, uh, the final uh, lady I'm going to call up is uh, extraordinary. She uh, anchored for us in those Nations Cup uh, in Europe, just as her dad did for so many years. I call Captain Canada up to the podium. So Captain, uh, Captain Canada did a great job for us, and uh, what a rider, what a team spirit. She's always there when we need her, and uh, she's a fighter in the ring, just like her dad was. Um, I'm just waiting for Ian to come through the door any minute, screaming. But uh, anyway, I'm very proud of this team. They worked hard, and I can guarantee you, uh, I've heard for so many years as a Canadian that let's go to the World Championship to qualify for the Olympic. Uh, this is not our gold. We're going to the World Championship to win a gold medal. No more qualifying for the Olympic. The gold is what we want. I'm 
going to uh, invite you now to have a seat because I know we have questions not only from within this room but uh, from uh, across the country. Eric, you can just stay at this podium to take yours, and this will be covered. And we'll have uh, we'll start within the room. Uh, Rita, why don't you go? Thank you, uh, Eric. Um, I, I guess what are the what were the qualities? I mean, what are the things that you were looking at when you're trying to put this team together? Because, like you say, you want to go there to win. You don't want to go there to just to place or whatever. So, what were the key things that you were looking for? Well, for me, it was very important that the riders uh, that were going to be on this team were riders that had previous experience in Olympic competition, world championship, and had been to this uh, to this type of uh, competition before. Uh, rookie riders coming up in our sport wasn't really their place for this year. We, we really want to aim uh, to the top of the podium, and I needed experience behind me and experience we have. If I could get perhaps each one of you, if, if possible, just to just your thoughts, you know, on, on being on this on this particular team at this particular point in time for Canada. I guess we'll start with Mario. I think it's a great accomplishment, I think, for all of us. We're proud to be Canadian and being selected to go to the World Games. Uh, you know, I think everybody um, showed that they can be on this team. They, they delivered. Uh, as Eric said, they went to a few Nations Cup in Europe. Uh, they did great, great results. And, uh, yeah, you know, I think everybody, through the winter, we all jump in Wellington and other places. So I think he's got a solid, uh, solid team here. I agree. I think we have a strong roster. It's a group of riders that know each other well. We respect each other. We have worked together throughout this, this, uh, these last few months and had the opportunity to compete in Europe and in the United States. And I think we all are very strongly feeling that we want to do Canada proud and be the best that we can be. And we feel very optimistic about our role and our chances at the WEG. And it's also, it's, it's a different, it's different faces up here, you know? We, we are missing Eric and we're missing Ian on the team. So I think that it's time for us all to step up and try to do our best. And like they say, uh, Eric's giving us a lot of confidence. So we want to go forward and not just qualify. We want to do even better than that. We want a medal. This reminds me of my family karaoke when they wouldn't oh. give me the microphone. <laughs> 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 Actually happened. Um, I That's think good for <laughs> anyone who's heard me sing knows why. Uh, I think <laughs> one thing that I would say that's really exciting about this particular team is I think all five of us truly root for each other and truly love riding with one another, and it really feels like a team. I would say more so than it's ever felt in my career on this on this Nations Cup sort of journey that I've been on we always sort of felt like that when it was me Eric and Jan all coming from the same place but even though we're all kind of in different camps I really feel like we feel like a team and I think a lot of that is due to Eric and I think he needs a lot of credit for that um, but I do think we go into the WEG with a lot of confidence and I know we all have each other's back and we want to do Canada proud I would say the same. I think that we're really following Eric's vision here and his lead to come together as a team and to have the opportunity to be together and work together and, and have the training camps and the preparation that, that we need. And that was missing before. We used to be strong individuals that came together for one moment as a team, and now we're strong individuals working together as a team quite often. And I think because of that experience and that time that Eric is giving us, we're going to be able to produce a more consistent and stronger result because we have the ability to work together and cheer for each other. And even when I was in, in Europe as the, as the spare, I was like, that's okay. I can be the water girl. I can be, I can be whatever we need. But I was there the course, every, the uh, course walker. <laughs> <laughs> I knew how many of everybody away was when you got your warm up jump, but, but that's a part of it. I wasn't on the outside, even though I wasn't competing in the Nations Cup. I was fully immersed in the training and in the competition at the horse show and specifically in the Nations Cup. And I don't think that's something that we felt before in the past. So, so we're starting strong, and I think you'll see big things from us. Eric, I have to ask you this. Uh, this is a different role for you on this team because, of course, you were one of these people, and now you're the guy in charge. So uh, what's that been like? How, how much, that's a lot of pressure, obviously, on, on, your, on your shoulders. What's that been like for you? Well, I mean, uh, on the team in the Nations Cup, I used to uh, ride two, two rounds. Now I feel like I'm riding eight rounds. <laughs> so it's a, little more, it's a little more tiring. But uh, I, I'm, I still give it all, all I have. Uh, I really live the moment as they do. I, I see every distance they see. 
I uh, see everything that they're 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 feeling. Uh, well, not all the time. But <laughs> <laughs> sometimes he sees sometimes, the right sometimes one. Sometimes I see don't. a little different, but uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. but uh, I, I'm very much involved in, in, in everything. So uh, it's unfortunate that I can't be sitting there with them. Uh, but if I can't be sitting there with them, uh, you know, being at this position here is uh, something that I'm very grateful for, and I will give 100% of myself to make sure that these young ladies and young men uh, come back with a medal around their neck. Just last thing I want to ask, I just wanted to ask Beth about uh, Chaco. Uh, what's his sort of, is he okay? Is yes, he's uh, at the clinic here, and Dr. French has been fantastic, and we don't have all the answers yet, but he is in the best of care, and we're doing everything we can to keep him comfortable. Hello, I'm Julie Clairma. Um, wow, I just wanted to say what a great team. Um, you know, we have Mario and Beth. Those are riders that you know I've followed my whole life and have always looked up to. Um, Amy, Tiffany, and Aaron. You know, you were around my age. I remember you know being a teenager, and you guys are around the same age, and really you know looking up to you as well. So it's it's yeah, it's a very cool moment in Canadian show jumping. Um, and Eric, I, especially with you at the helm, um, I was curious if um, you, you know, ever had in the back of your mind as a rider that you would end up if, as a chef to keep one day. Yes, uh, it's always been my uh, my goal to uh, to one day uh, be help, be able to help in different ways that I did as a rider. Um, I love team competition. I love riding for Canada. I love Olympic, I love World Championship, and I love every Nations Cup, much more than I even like the individual part of it, to be honest. So uh, that part was always in me, and um, so uh, however it happens much sooner than I thought, but uh, here I am doing what I always thought I was gonna do one day. Mm -hmm. Great, and, um, and I, I was interested, you know, Canada has always had such a strong team, even though if maybe it's not the depth of riders in some other countries we've always had strong riders and strong results you know over the decades um what do you Sorry, I, if i can stop you right here i believe that we have the depth of every other country in the world at the moment with the people sitting here yeah oh yeah i agree and um you know what, what do you <laughs> sorry for <laughs> stopping you but i just i just didn't I, I, they, they all they all each of them are as good as anybody in the world, and they're going to prove it. Oh, absolutely. I meant the depth more like number of riders, like having 20 or 30 t Grand Prix riders to choose from. Um, but I agree that Canada's always punched um, like well above its weight, and the riders here are as strong as anywhere you could find. Um, what do you think accounts for Canada's you know, kind of consistent success um, over all the years? Well, I think Ian Miller accounts for a lot of it. Um, I think he was uh, a person, a true leader in our sport. Um, I think my days with Exted, uh, my days that I spent on the team when uh, me and Ian were together and, and, uh, and uh, we added uh, some young riders with us along the way. I think we managed to, um, you know, if, uh, if both of us had a good day, uh, it gave the chance to, uh, to the middle riders, so to speak, to catch their breath a little bit and um, and be part of it. But uh, what I found quite alarming is throughout the years, a lot of the same faces were always uh, doing Nations Cup and Olympic and World Championship. And I don't, not that I don't want these people battling for the Pan Am game or the, World, or the Olympic, but I would like to have a choice of 15 people that are as good as they are. And this is what we're gonna try to build in Canada is that we are not looking at the same fa faces doing the same thing all the time. We're gonna try to make it grow and bring more riders and just give chance to other people to be at the top of the sport. Yeah, that's exciting. Um, and last question or, or comment really, um, you know, look at all the women here. Um, I've, and I've been lucky enough to you know, speak to uh, most of you, but not Beth yet um, this weekend. So um, Beth Underhill, I was wondering if you could you know, comment on, on um, being a, a female rider and you know, maybe the particular strengths or, or challenges um, you might face as a woman. 
I've, I've always felt very fortunate in that I, I never felt that that was a negative. I always felt that I um, came to the table and was fully respected by my colleagues and my peers. I've always felt that I've had so many um, teammates that were women that I could talk to, that they we could draw on our own experiences and work together. So I feel fortunate in our sport that we've actually crossed those barriers earlier than many other industries, businesses, and sports. Um, we've always worked together as a, a, as a sport where men and women competed equally. And yeah, as much as it's it's harder maybe for us in terms of you know family networking and and all that other aspects of it i think we've all pulled forward and and you know together we've made ourselves stronger so for me it's always been um i've always been felt very fortunate that i've been involved in a profession and a sport that gave us that uh, ability to be strong and be strong as women right from the beginning yeah absolutely thanks beth Sorry, I'm hiding behind a pillar here. We've just had a couple questions um, brought in and, and most have been answered, but I did want to bring forward, uh, to Eric, to yourself. Having everybody come to Spruce Meadows this week, what were you looking for out on the international th ring as everybody was competing through their rounds? Well, it wasn't, uh, we could only take so many people to Europe. So there were some people that I've uh, not seen, uh, but it's not like I have to see much of Mario Delorier. Uh, there's not much that uh, he hasn't done in the sport. Uh, uh, you know, it was basically making sure that uh, the team was uh, still standing after a hard two, uh, two, two competition in Europe. And, um, the, the, you know, and see all the horses were jumping. This was just mostly uh, a maintaining process. Um, and uh, an observer, one more show to get to observe, uh, perhaps uh, one or two riders that we didn't get to see in Europe. Wonderful, thank you. And then just one more thing. Um, aside from our great group of riders who are sitting here, uh, what words of advice do you have for young up and coming riders who are kind of starting their five star journeys to say, hey, you want to come ride for Team Canada? What are you looking for? Well, we're looking, first of all, we, I put in a program from a uh, children jumper uh, all the way up to the Olympic game, uh, how to uh, achieve that goal and how to get there. Um, and um, to do, you know, we, we're, we're going to unveil that very soon. I spoke about it in Vancouver um, a few weeks ago. Um, but I would say that, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're willing to work with, with, if you have talent and, and your, your desire is to ride for Canada, we're going to do everything in our power to do that. Um, we're bringing some fin uh, financial power behind this and it's going to help a lot. It's going to give a lot of chance for a lot of people that perhaps didn't have the mean to do this sport to be able to do it. And it's going to help uh, Equine Canada as well to help us uh, touring Europe uh, as much as other people do to stay at that level, uh, stay close with the European uh, and, be, uh, and truly have Can uh, Canada uh, be on the international stage and be a player at all level. Uh, with them prior to the Olympic, prior to uh, the World Championship, just on a yearly basis, uh, coming into the Master here, uh, Nations Cup. I want to be the. I want to be considered the, the, you know, the favorite. I don't want to be here and uh, saying if we're third, you know, we had a good day. First is the only thing we'll accept. But for young riders, is really the door is open more now than it's ever been, and uh, I hope that they come to me. I hope that they reach out. We will for sure reach out to them. But if they reach out to us, uh, their world could uh, really change. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. I don't think we have any questions coming in on Skype. So uh, I do want to congratulate everyone and thank uh, Equestrian Canada for considering this venue for it. For our photographers also, we have a, um, a uh, photo op venue outside of British House where uh, Jimmy Elder is going to speak to you. We've given him a time limit, not to worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and a reception that uh, Equestrian Canada is hosting. But maybe if you do want one still on the podium here, we could get Eric and the, t and the team to stand up. But we'll also do this outside. And again, congratulations to each and every one of the riders that have been selected by the Federation for this year's uh, World Equestrian Game and to uh, to Eric Lamaze for the vision he's bringing for it and uh, for all of the chapters he's written at this venue and around the world in the past. Thank you uh, to Spruce Meadow for allowing us to uh, bring this, uh, this announcement. It was important for me that this wasn't done through an email or a phone call. And uh, thank you so much for that. You're welcome, Eric.
Congratulations, everyone.